Okay, so it's been um, about a month or so since we've had rain. It's pretty dry. And what I wanted to show you, the just changes in what we can do with our soil fertility. Like, it's, you can see how dry it is there. And here's just an example. Like, I got to drive down this bank with vert spreader about this time last year. Um, this bank was originally about six foot high in gorse. So Dad's cut it back, and I've started fertilising it where I can. So I'm pretty happy with what's happened right here from one application, um, because I want to show you what's happening next where I couldn't get with the tractor and that's there the blackberries and the gorse have come back really solid um, and so this is just showing you that weeds are growing uh, in regard to the soil conditions and then if we go on this is a patch here that I actually get up and down reasonably well with the spreader and it's had a couple of three years now of getting some silica and the other nutrient on it and it's going really good now down the bottom here where we've had a bit of moisture and things are going all right um, you can see what's going on with our pasture here um, the cattle graze it was fairly tall pasture knocked all the seed over and everything's starting to regrow and there's seed everywhere of course and it's all just germinated with that last rain waiting for the next one to kick its a into g so you know when we look at it this was six foot high gorse there's a piece on that knob there I can't to get to with the spreader. This is where I can get down. You can even see the really green line in the middle there where I get down easy. Then it just crosses over into where I can't get. I'm either going to have to get up there with a shovel and throw stuff down the bank, which is likely, or get the helicopter or plane in. And then we get down to where I've been down once, and look what happened. It changed it. So gorse and weeds, they're just an example of soil fertility.